Hi, this is Pat Love back from Love Healing Hearts. Bad hair day, y'all. Anyway, excuse that. Listen, um, I feel to read from 1 Peter chapter 5. And I believe this is the dealings of the body of Christ and how we interact with one another. Those with experience are to teach those with less experience. Those with less experience are to learn from those with more. Listen, the elders which are among you I exhort, who am also an, el an elder, a witness of the sufferings of Christ, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. Okay. Neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, you shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Young people, likewise ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. For God resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Now, last one, verse 6. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Now, this is what I want to say about that. One thing that I notice we end up having issues with in the body of Christ. Listening? is pride. And the reason I say that is because Sometimes all you have to do is give somebody a title, and they don't know how to act, do they? That's right. So we have to be careful how we relate one to another. Now, I'm going to give you an example. There are times when people get a position of leadership, and they tend to think that it gives them a license to say things, do things, feel things, and exude things that don't glorify God. All they do is glorify their opinions of themselves and other people. So you end up with leadership that treats some people with the highest of respect and treat others with contempt. You end up having some leaders that will talk to certain people a certain way and other people they'll talk to them any old way because as far as they're concerned they don't really matter well you have to be careful about that because to God they're very important you may not think much of them but God may not think that much of you now to pastors and leaders and choir directors and and uh, youth leaders and all of that listen when you serve the flock of God, you are called, number one, to be a minister, a servant, and a messenger. And you are to lead by example. So those of you who like to have your entourage, and your cup bearer, and your luggage carrier, and your bus boys and bus girls to step and fetch for you, Number one, if you watch the leadership of Jesus Christ, you are out of line. Because you are not the one who is to be served. You are the one supposedly doing the serving. That's the way the picture goes. That's the way Jesus painted the picture. That's how he led by example. So, when he served, and they didn't want him to serve, this is what I'm here for. I am here to serve. I'm here to do you well. I'm not here to be uh, to have all my subjects waiting on me hand and foot. And he washed Peter's feet. He washed. He didn't sit there and wait for the disciples to come and wash his feet. He washed. He started out washing Peter's feet. So I say that I'm making an example of leadership, you guys. 
those of you with your entourage and your cup bearers and your cane carriers and your luggage bus boys and all of that, stop it. That's not what you're supposed to be about. You see one of the sisters coming down the aisle, you don't snap your finger and tell some. You get up sometimes and you help that lady to the to her seat. Think about what I'm saying. You're not there to be important. You're not there to wear a badge of, of affluence on your on your chest. Jesus hated that pride. So you you know, get off the high horse. Because you're not there to be worshipped. You're not there to be served. You are there to lead by example, to feed the flock, give them that word, equip the saints to face life with the handles the Bible has given us. Teach them how to use the tools. And get up off your throne and let Jesus take his place back. Because when you have people stepping and fetching and bringing you your purse and your wallet and your and your Bible and your glass and your attache case and they're carrying your luggage and they're carrying this and carrying that and they're, oh, come on. And you're strutting around like a, like a proud peacock showing off your feathers of ministry, showing off your pedigree, showing off your certificates and your degrees and I mean, come on. And then when somebody wants to ask you, well, how should I address you? Oh, address me as pastor so-and-so. Address me as Minister Riley. Address me as, as Apostle Baba. Stop with the titles. You don't need the titles. Now, I know certain groups of people. Yeah, I'm included in that. Belong to a group. That have been treated crap in a very bad way. Horribly. And as a result, there are a lot of insecurities. I get that. But your insecurities have no place in the kingdom of God. God can heal you like he healed me and others I know of insecurities. So that you will not walk around needing a title to make you feel important. You will not need a position to make you feel of, of substance. To make you feel substantial. Think about that. All of that plays into it. And that's why the Bible says, Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. And he will exalt you in due time. Not ahead of time. In due time. Do you hear me? So you have to guard your heart. And make sure that pride does not lodge itself. In your temple. Because pride and God's anointing will not coexist. You'll either have one or you'll have the other. It's your choice. I'm going to leave it at that. But just remember that's one of the issues with the body of Christ that people see, that make people around the world not want to have anything to do with us because they see flesh, pride, ego. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Pastor, apostle, uh, let me see. I'm trying to think of a nice title. Pastor, apostle, prophetess, prophet, peacock. Close your feathers, get up off the throne, throw the name badges and the titles in the trash, and lead the way Jesus Christ led, serving others, not waiting to be served, and equip the saints with what they need. Amen? Amen.